Hello everyone, I'm Trey Rich and you are watching Buzz Unlisted where we talk about the top 10 what the fuck moments of the week. I brought back my new bestie, Carmen. We had to do it again because we had so much fun last week. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. It's Sunday and we're ready to have a fun day. Round two. Yes. All I have to say is <laughs> what the fuck, okay? Yep. Are we ready to get into this? Very ready. I'm ready too. Hopefully we're not that depressed this time. Oh yeah, last week was it was a little it was a little Debbie Downer, but you know, <laughs> today we're talking about some crazy people. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, starting off with crazy person number one. A Houston man is accused of shooting restaurant workers over barbecue sauce, y'all. Barbecue sauce? I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to unpack that. <laughs> I don't know. I love barbecue. Nobody... Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. But I don't know. Like... But not even barbecue. It's barbecue sauce. Just sauce. I don't blame them. <laughs> <laughs> a woman scorned without her sauce. Right. I, tell you. I need my barbecue sauce. Let me read this. Okay, All right, let's so see what's a man up. accused of shooting a restaurant, wait, at restaurant workers over barbecue sauce is now being held in jail with no bond. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, so, he was angry and upset. He looks very angry and upset. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. He says, I'll come back and shoot up the place. Wow. <laughs> so he really thought about it. Like this was... He was literally like really upset about his barbecue sauce. It's just barbecue sauce, man. Yeah. For real. So the investigators say a 36-year-old Andre Thomas became infuriated over a takeout order. Thomas is now facing two charges of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and burglar <laughs> of habitation. Uh, let's see. They say it all started at Dickie's Barbecue Pit on Shady Drive in North. See that Harris name County. just in itself? I don't know. Dickie's Barbecue Pit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and then prosecutors say. Thomas picked up his order and left. Then he calls the restaurant angry and upset because they did not give him enough barbecue sauce on his to-go order. Uh, so it wasn't no barbecue sauce. It was just like barbecue sauce. Oh my God. So he woke up on the wrong side of the bed for sure. He did. He really did. Somebody pissed him off. Yeah, and it wasn't just the barbecue sauce. I don't think so. It couldn't, it, you know, it couldn't have been. You know, or you think I, it was. You, I, I sympathize with him because you know I have been there. You know when a whole bunch of shit go on in your in your day, and then, and then that there's was the that last one, straw. the last straw that <laughs> breaks the camel's back. You're just like, fuck <laughs> everyone, <laughs> die! Do, 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 do. I haven't done that, just so you guys know. No, 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 neither but have I. But I have had an Ally McBeal moment where, in my mind, it actually happened. The intrusive thoughts. Yes, the intrusive thoughts <laughs> that don't happen. That don't happen. That's that's totally normal, though. Man. But, but I have an imagination. I, I promise I have an imagination. <laughs> yes. All right. So. Moving right along to number nine. Let's do it. Okay. So. Teacher left classroom on stretcher after five-year-old student attacks. Hmm. Five-year-old? So, what kind of Tasmanian <laughs> devil? <laughs> what? So These kids the kid, The kid had enough. He was like, I'm over this. He literally was like, you know what? Let me, let me get this teacher and, uh and do something. Let me but see. But still, it's like, how are you almost like, you were four year old, started to throw things around. He was four actually, not even five. Wow. The four year old had enough. He was flipping <laughs> chairs? <laughs> wow, let me read this story. Let's see, a teacher was hospitalized after. The incident report. But why did they say five year old? And it's actually four year old. Four year old. Um, so they said, the teacher was hospitalized after <laughs> they told her they he, she told him to cool down <laughs> after he was fisting and everything like wow <laughs> so the student well, used fisting means I'm totally well i mean I, well it says fist oh my god <laughs> bobby, <laughs> bobby. <laughs> how do we get to fisting <laughs> See, this is why we love her. You know, she'll she'll change up the subject in a second. And we'll go somewhere else, you know. This is serious. A teacher was beaten. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I mean is, fist fighting. Yes, it says the student used fists and feet to hit his teacher shortly after 10 a.m. So this was an or early fuck up for him. Yeah, he was like early. He was like, I'm tired of this. Right. On Wednesday in a the pine, cool down room. They pine. have a cool down room. Shoot. There's a cool down room? That what? means that so means the teacher's getting on everybody's nerves. Ooh. 
I don't know about that. Can you imagine being the teacher that 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 works the cool down room so you get all the badass kids? Wait, so the student now is facing a charge of aggravated assault? Hold on, so four-year-olds can get charged now? I'm so confused. A four-year-old? Oh, let me see. Is there is there video? I wonder if they have video on here. It's a, it's a little attack. kid like coming out. With right. <laughs> coming out in handcuffs. A little menace. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Who's raising these kids? Who, uh, who's and why? And why are they so like? I've had enough. I'm beating my teacher's ass. Like, what is that? You know, you I, have to I come to a like, point where you're like, okay, hold up. Absolutely. I think what's missing in this world today. What? Don't attack me for this, y'all. But the belt. Uh, the I, belt. People have released the belt and spared the rod on these children that need they ass whooped before they go outside. Listen. It all starts in the home, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh. BYK. All right. BYK. <laughs> Beat your kids. Beat your kids. BYK. Beat your kids. <laughs> if they need it, if they deserve it. If, if it's a good kid, you know, they, they don't deserve it. All right, let's move on to the next yes, story. Yes, moving right along to number eight. So let's see. There's a whole bunch of teacher student shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> Woman accused of assaulting teacher during parent teacher conference. But why? A 34-year-old woman was arrested after police said she assaulted a Miami-Dade public school teacher during a parent-teacher conference. Hmm. Police said the school principal was present for the meeting along with an assistant principal and social studies teacher. According to a report obtained by Local 10 News, you need to learn how to raise your child. See, I wouldn't go that far to say that to... Got her ass kicked for telling the mom how to raise your child. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you said it's fair? Yeah, fair game. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to tell me how to raise uh, my kids. What see, do you think? Well, it depends, too, on, like, but I wouldn't say it like that. I would just say I think, you know, your kid may need some help. Right. I, some I'm, guidance. I'm against the way it was said. Said 100%. But then I, I still don't completely feel like she, she was justified to put her hands on the teacher. However, she could have she could have ripped that teacher to shreds vocally. A hundred percent. You know, that's another thing. Hmm. You need to teach these kids and these parents how to speak and fight with their words. Okay, because people people out here just putting their hands on people because they don't know what she else to do. She looks happy too in the mugshot. She she's looks like, like really pretty and everything. Mm -hmm. like, she's like, I, she's I did like, what yeah, I had I to did, do. I had to do. <laughs> I feel good about what I did. <laughs> Don't tell me how to raise my child. Right. Don't talk to me sideways. Mm -mm. Let them know, girl. <laughs> She's like, yep, I'm happy. She said, I'm going to let them know. All right, let's move on to the next story. Yes, moving right along to number seven. Oh, this is interesting. So, this one. I knew that, you know, the police is always corrupt. Fresno police sergeant charged mm. with stealing drugs, using them, and crashing patrol car while... Driving under the influence. This is insane. Oh my God. What the fuck? He's charged with stealing meth from a suspect. So could you imagine? <laughs> wow. And using the drugs and then driving patrol. What in the what? So he was definitely high, like just like. Oh, so he was, he was, ooh, he was into that thing. Let me see. The investigation started with a one car crash in a parking lot. In a parking lot? That's where you're gonna you're gonna crash in a parking lot. I mean, that's that's awkward. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> that's what oh meth my does. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, the police car was described as running over curbs and striking a tree, disabling the police car. Jesus! <gasps> Officers thought he had a heart attack, but then realized no. his last call involved drugs. They suspected no fentanyl exposure and gave him Narcan. The opioid overdose uh, rescue drug. Oh um, my god! <laughs> so it had fentanyl in it. Yes, possibly. Well, they, they just assumed. Assumed, I guess. okay. Um, oh my so god! So the chief uh, says <laughs> once officers knew uh, Danell would survive, they started investigating. Danell had had closed the last call as unfounded. <laughs> um, he had a bundle of drugs in his patrol car. Testing, <laughs> <laughs> testing found the bundle contained methamphetamines and fentanyl. Um, Danelle admitted taking them from a woman. Sir. She, so he took the Sir. drugs and, and admitted them. And admitted yes. them too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to let you 
do this one. Okay, let's see. Okay. Which one is this? Oh, a TikToker made $200,000 farting in jars. Amazing. <laughs> and then it says, here's how she did it. <laughs> All right, so let's see how she actually did it. Would you buy somebody's farts? I would. Would y'all buy somebody's farts? Would you? I would never. No, absolutely not. But could you imagine, like, she literally has, like, she's eating and then she's, like, sealing them? Like, imagine the process with that. I, I really do want to know the That's, packaging process. Yeah, because you have to, like, save the And then also, the I want to know how much of a supply she has. Like, and, like, like how, how is she many... eating? What is she eating to, like, create that? Right. And then, like... Or is she really doing it or is she really not? How many jars does she get to in one fart? Or do you think she buys, like, a spray that smells and then, like, puts it in there and then, like, seals it up? She's I don't know. Yeah, but you can fart on camera. Like, you know, like, you people lie on the gram. You right. know what I mean? I have to fart right now, but I'm going to hold it. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, you can have, like, a little spray. You spray it in the jar, and then you seal it up, and then yeah. it's out. And then now she's, like, she just made $200,000 in farting jars. I'm not mad at her. I think she was on 90 Day Fiance, too. Oh, yeah. The 90 Day Fiance star. Stephanie Motto. Yep. Yeah. I ain't mad, Steph. I'm not mad. <laughs> All, right. All right. Moving, Moving right on. along to some <laughs> other craziness. Oh, shit. Hold on. The drunk pilot removed from cockpit JetBlue flight to Florida. <sighs> this See, is this is why I'm scared of flying. I don't <laughs> like flying because things like this scare me. Now, this is some shit I would expect from another <gasps> airline spirit. Um, <laughs> you can become a spirit. JetBlue, oh my God, let JetBlue, me read into this. A JetBlue pilot was removed from the cockpit of a flight and taken into custody in the U.S. <laughs> after having a blood alcohol level more than five times the federal limit for pilots. The pilot, a 52-year-old man from Orlando, Florida, was first removed from the cockpit after Transportation Security this Administration. This is what happens when you party oh, TSA. in my, No, this is what happens when you party in Florida. A, a TSA agent told authorities he looked impaired while oh, passing wow. through security. So he looked oh, like, like he was tossed. Oh, wow. Shit. No, could you imagine he's like flying and then like, thank God. What? The pilot had told authorities that he had seven to eight drinks before, before he got on the plane that was departing from Buffalo International Airport. No. They need, wow. to, they need to start testing pilots, I feel like, now. Jesus. That's oh. scary. So after he was <sighs> removed, the police performed a breathalyzer test and found that his blood alcohol level was 0.17%. And there goes his flying career. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. Dude, what made you think that was a good idea? Jesus. But Imagine how many times he's done it. <sighs> this is Wait. It gets, the plot thickens. Oh, let's hear it. The pilot told the police he needed to get his gun from the cockpit while being <laughs> detained, according to the reports. What? What in the? Mm -mm. What? Some but apparently pilots can carry firearms on the planes if certain. Yeah, just, just in case something happens, but what's happening? <laughs> what? Wow. Mm -mm. I, no. I, I'm See, this learning is, more and more every day. No. More crazy people. I can't. Yeah, no. See, this what? is why, like, before I fly, I literally check, um, I'm, I'm totally, like, when it's flying, I have to check. <laughs> Your OCD about the No, I'm really, like, insane with it. I have to check the, the airplane, like, what kind of, what kind of plane it is. Mm -hmm. And then for me also, I kind of check the vibes of the pilot. Like I'm like, oh, they look happy. Like, ha like yeah. they look. So as you're walking on, yeah, I'm like, like, all right, hey. cool. It's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on this flight. Yeah. So, so it's not a G6, you ain't getting on it. She's like, nope. One number off. <laughs> One number off. <laughs> <laughs> so if they look happy and they look like you know they're ready to work. All right, yeah. cool. But if they look like sad and whatever, I'm like, uh, uh. Uh, uh I ain't going down. Nope, <laughs> it won't be me. She's like, I'd like to change my flight, like, please. Yeah, I'll I have wait. Diarrhea. I need to go back. I don't feel good. That way. What if the pilot got a turban on? Ooh. Oh. 
that's hard. What if the pilot has a turban on? You know, that that's very racist, but it's a real thought for some people. Yeah. It's a, it hey, is, it it's a, a real, real thought, thought for some people. It is. I mean, I, I understand. That's a, that's no, just how DJ Khaled is scared of flying is like how I'm scared of flying. Like I literally will turn pale. It literally, like I'm a, I'm a ghost. I tell the flight attendants, I give them Starbucks cards. Really? Like, hey, I'm, say, I'm scared of flying. They, so they fill me up with like tequila. <laughs> so you can knock out or <laughs> relax? Can knock out and relax. <laughs> literally, because I hate flying. You know, flying is fine with me. No, not I with mean, me. I mean, I've never really been scared of it. And especially with stories, pilots but... like this, oh. now I'm like, okay, great, Bobby, thanks for the story. Right. <laughs> now you're even more stressed to fly, huh? <laughs> right. But like for me, I like flying. I'm that person that now, well, when I first started flying, it was painful, like, you know, the ears yeah. popping and stuff like that. Yeah. But I guess once I turn maybe like 13 or 14, I stop having that issue. And, and since then, I've been asleep before we take off and I wake up just before we land. Amazing. I'm that person. I wish I was that person. I'm the one like, I'm right. like this. Like I get in my seat, as soon as they close the door, I'm just like. <laughs> I wish that was I, me. I, it might be the pressure. I really wish that was me. It might be, I think nope. it's like the pressure. Nope. And I love it. My I'm, anxiety I'm very grateful, will not. Nope. Very grateful to be this person. Yeah, I wish I was that person. All right, moving right along. Let's move along. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh. go ahead and let you take this one. No, 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 no. You have to take it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Cause I'm a freak. Anywho, so uh, if the shoe fits. Wisconsin woman chokes lover to death during sex and then dismembers him. Oh Lord! Okay, let's his get his head let's... and male organ in a bucket, and his legs in a crock pot. What are they doing in Wisconsin? Uh, what? I feel like all the scary movies are there, no? Because <laughs> <laughs> right? right, it's so boring there, all people can do is kill. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Let me read. Let me read deep into this. Yeah, thing. let's, let's see. see. What's Wisconsin going woman on? choked her lover to death during a drug-fueled sex romp. Oh, so they was high and fucking. Okay. It's probably that meth from that guy that found it. Right. They knew that officer. <laughs> that officer. <laughs> um, and then she dismembered him. Okay, let me see. Taylor Shabisky, Shabiznis. She's, her, is, she's, she's about her business. She's 24, and she's charged with first-degree intentional homicide and mutilating a corpse as well as third-degree sexual assault for acts. Prosecutors said she did after the victim was dead. Wait, my whole thing is her mugshot, she got full blown makeup on. Yeah. Like, do you see that? Like, she looks like she's ready to- She looks to... like a, 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 a chola. That looks like a, yeah, like, no. Like she look... she's got wings, yeah, yeah, she's yeah, got yeah. like a, almost like a little my... bump it going on. Yeah, my whole thing is, it looks like a good headshot. Right. <laughs> it doesn't even if, look if like a If she wasn't so angry looking, like if she <laughs> smiled, she could use this as a headshot. headshot. Yep. Pretty girl. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. In the early hours of, of Wednesday, February 23rd, police in Green Bay were contacted by a woman who said she found her 25 year old son's head, her, her severed head in a bucket. What? The fuck? So she cut off his head and put it in a bucket for his mother to find. My whole thing is this. How many hours did that take her? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's not an easy thing to do. Hold up. The plot thickens. <laughs> when the officers arrive, they also found it contained a male organ. So she cut off his head, and then she cut off his head. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah. She's crazy, clearly. Ooh. Oh, no, no. Ah. Oh. oh I want to puke. Oh, oh, oh. Like, what? Mm -mm. No, I have. I'm speechless. <laughs> um, so I understand women scorn. I get it. You know, but you know, it's not okay. That's crazy, though. Yes. That's beyond. Yes, but you know, I often hear women say, "I'm gonna cut off this dick." But like, she took it there. She, she, took, she, did she it. literally did it. She. She. <laughs> she was big mad. I want to know what happened. Let's see. Does it say? 
Let me see. Authorities say she told them she blacked out in, in some stage and just went crazy and started strangling him with the chain. Okay, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Him face down with her on top of him. She insisted she didn't mean to kill him, but since she enjoyed choking him, she continued to do it. Oh my God. Wow. What do you she call those when they do that? Like um, a sadist, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, sadists, people that are into, you know, yeah, that, that kind stuff. of stuff, yeah. I think. Or is it the masochist? No, masochist is, I think, when they like being, like, beat up and things like that. I think sadist is the one doing it, right? I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look it up, because I, I don't know if I'm... And I'm into some freaky shit, I should know! <laughs> I should know! And then she also said, he, be, he began coughing up blood, and, <laughs> and, and she noticed that he was turning purple. But since she was already this far, she kept going. Is she crazy? Well, clearly. What the fuck? And wait, wait a minute, what? She reportedly asked detectives if they knew what it was like to love something so much that you would kill it. What? <laughs> I'm like at a loss for words right now. Literally, what the fuck? It's like, how are you having sex and then you're like, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it becomes a crime scene. What? I, 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 oh, oh my goodness. God. All right, moving right along. All right, so. To number three. TikTok star arrested by FBI after shoes connected to armed robberies. But how do you know it's like his shoes? You know what I mean? Like, how is it? I don't know, how is that even possible? Like, oh, like, let's put his shoes. I don't know. Is there a video, a surveillance video? <laughs> I'm confused. Are you? <laughs> Federal investigators were originally anonymously tipped off. Okay, so someone told on him. See, that's when you got, got friends <sighs> and people around you that are snitches. See, you need to be better about your game, <laughs> sir. Be better about, if, you, if you're gonna do some shady shit, Cover your back and cover your tracks. Literally. Don't be stupid, y'all. <sighs> not that I'm encouraging. No, no, no. We're not encouraging any of that. But. But if, <laughs> listen, here's my thing. Be good or be good at it. That's all I'm going to say. Alrighty. On yes. to the next story. On to the next, uh, on to the next one. Let's see here. I'll let you do this one. <laughs> Cause y you know I love my white people. I, I swear I'm not racist. I have tons of white friends. <laughs> it sounds really bad when white people say, "Oh, I have I have black friends." I'm gonna say it. I have white friends. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, in this story, <laughs> oh. activists call on Amazon to remove white privilege cards. So they're selling white privilege cards on Amazon. Hold on, let me Wait, let me, what? Yes, it says white white privilege. Let me see. Um, let me read into yeah, this. Activists do. are calling on Amazon to remove what they're calling racist paraphernalia from its online shops. They say they are outraged about white privilege card. <laughs> about a white privilege card trumps everything. Remember since, wait, what? Let me see. Remember since birth and good through death? It's in the wow. shape of a credit card being sold on Amazon in five, 10 and 15 packs labeled as gag gifts. Oh, so they're, they're a gag gift. So I guess it's to, um, um, to activists, it seems like a really unfunny joke to them. But the white privilege card is actually kind of a joke. Let's see, at the bottom of the five star reviews from customers who say they love the quality of these cards. Um, when oh activists Lord. at the Crisis Action Center found out about this product, they say they were outraged and demanded Amazon to stop merchants from selling these products. Activists say they've reached out to Amazon, but that they haven't heard back yet. Jeff Bezos, what's going on here? Right. <laughs> what's going on? White privilege cards. I wanna know who came up with that. Like, who was like, oh yeah, let me wake up. Oh, this is a great idea. 
Um, I think it would be funny if um, black people started carrying them. Right, <laughs> right. When you get pulled over, show your white privilege <laughs> card. <laughs> privilege card. <laughs> oh. oh, are we ready for our number one, people? What's our number one? Oh, my goodness. Have you seen the Tinder swindler? Of course I have. And he has a type. He definitely has a type. Have you noticed that? He does. He was like, and then they're uh, white girls, blonde hair with yes. good credit. <laughs> with good credit. With Clearly with good credit. Good okay? credit. Because <laughs> if he tried to swindle me, he wouldn't get shit. Okay? He would get a whole, he would get a, a Big Mac. He would try. A Happy to, Meal. He'd probably try to get you a credit repair thing. Maybe. Right. If he, if he tried to have me, sign up, <laughs> we would both get arrested on that day. Okay? Just for me applying for a loan above my limit, okay? <laughs> like the PPP loans. Literally. From last week's episode. Mm -hmm. if, you guys, if you guys haven't ooh. watched last week's and episode. I'm so, again, I'm so mad I didn't apply for a PPP loan. Yeah, so. same, because every, no, but have you heard now what's going on with the PPP loans? That no. Biden is now doing an investigation on PPP loans. I feel like we jinxed it. It's a threshold though. Yeah. Oh, it's a, what? Oh. 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 Oh, we could have got. Oh, shit. We still could have done. Can I still do a PPP right. loan? They, they come after your little $60. <laughs> These are my little $60. They come after your little $60. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's probably what I would get approved from, from at, at this point. That's what people are like, you know, down in Atlanta. Oh right. God. Right. It's okay. I'm working. <laughs> right. I'm working for, on my own. Um, for a YouTube page. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. Oh, I am working on my uh, mm -mm. my credit so I can get approved for more. But um, these people was crazy. Mm -hmm. Anywho, our number one is about the Tinder swindler. Mm. He may have gotten some of his own medicine. Mm -hmm. So the <laughs> Tinder swindler, Shimon Hayut, paid scam artist over 6K to get verified on IG. He could have just got verified on his own, I feel like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, dude, you have yeah. a whole Netflix. Everybody knows him now. Yeah, like, we know you're right. the biggest scammer. And now the Lviv family. Oh, it's suing him. They're suing him for fraud. Because, you know, he used their, their name, name as in and like, said, hey, I'm part of the Diamond yeah, family. Yeah, literally, the son. Wow. So, let me read into this. Um... So yeah, Shim uh, Shimon Hayut, who was introduced to the world as the Tinder swindler um, by a Netflix documentary of the same name, uh, he was swindled out of six thousand six hundred. See, that's not bad. That's not bad compared to the how much? How much did he get? Right, that is, that is that is that is pennies just, compared to what he was pulling out of these people. Literally, he was pulling a quarter of a million dollars out of these women. Yeah, and used it on the next one. Yeah, it was a pyramid scheme. It was a very good pyramid scheme. Yeah, it was great. Do you remember that pyramid scheme that happened during COVID that everybody was doing, like that whole thing? Yes. <laughs> yes. What was, the, what was the COVID pyramid scheme? The COVID pyramid scheme was like that thing where you're like, oh, you tell two friends to come in and then like put money down. Right. You remember that? Yeah. Oh, I never got involved. I didn't get involved in that, but I had a whole I bunch of I friends heard, that did. <laughs> I heard. I heard. And it also I think maybe of, that's like, what started this whole thing. <laughs> It's all too much. Mm -hmm. So six thousand six hundred sixty-four dollars. That that's nothing compared to what he was swindling women out of. So did he really get got? You, this was a mini got for him. You know what's crazy? Like that one girl that had the two hundred fifty thousand dollars that she got out for him. Yeah. Um, and he was using it up on like the yachts and everything. I'm yeah. like, you could have just bought yourself a house. Yeah. Girl, yeah. and she's still and she's still paying it. Yeah. Whatever it is, put it in an excuse. I mean, mm -mm. but at least he's getting sued now. <laughs> yes. So but, maybe, I don't know. But I wonder, like, how much could they sue him for? Yeah, because he doesn't have anything, because it was, like, gifted okay. to him. Yeah. So, hmm. and then, if he's this smart to con all that money out of people, do you think he's dumb enough to just like have access to his funds easily like that so now his enemies are after him literally uh, his enemies are coming his enemies <laughs> are after him literally his own family his own that family. He, he claimed he was a part of diamonds off river they're all i need to please me 
So yeah, that is our number one. The Tinder Swindler got swindled out of some of his own money. The, a tiny little bit of his own money, though. I mean, no, that, that was just chump change. Yes, at that point. I mean, six k to me. Uh, ow, ouch, ouch. That would hurt me. <laughs> ow, woof. ow, ow. He's like. Whatever. But for him. But no, but he's getting sued. So, whatever. You know. Maybe, maybe I don't know. What's crazy is like he does. He didn't really get caught for anything criminal, though. It's just like no, because the thing, immoral. Yeah, no, the thing was, it's because it wasn't, it was enforced. Like he didn't right. force them. Like right. they were he willing. He asked, and they were just like, okay, they were willing. Here. Yeah, here. Here you go, babe. Yeah, you're amazing to me. He has a type. <laughs> yes, the dumb blondes. With great credit. With really good credit. <laughs> <sighs> you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We we always have a great time here just going through the fuckery of the world. Yeah, and I love it. Yeah, so tell them where they can find you. You can find me at Carmen Alicia Ramos on Instagram. And you can find me at Trey Rich Live on Instagram. We will see you guys next time, next week, about the next top 10 what the fuck moments of the week. Because there's always some shit going down in yep. the world. We love y'all. Peace, love, and hair grease to you. And you've just been buzzed. You've just been buzzed. Bzz. Bzz. We out. We out, chill. <laughs>